Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about VeChain. VeChain is currently testing our patience here, like many other coins. I mean, is really anything move, moving at the moment? Yes, there are a few, few exceptions that are actually moving, but honestly, most coins are just on vacation at the moment, on holiday. We can see VeChain seems to be on vacation as well. It's currently here in our yellow support area. It actually touched the 50% retracement, which is good because that is typically what I want to see in a wave two correction. So one of the corrective waves in Elliott wave, the so-called one, two setup skip give us typically the best reward to risk ratio. Yeah, They give us typically the best reward to risk ratio because the third wave rally is typically the most aggressive one. We talk about that a lot in the, in the channel membership. If you want to know more and learn more about Elliott waves, check that out. But um, it is a decent setup, the one two setup. What is not so good about this chart is that this move up was not an impulse. It was only a diagonal structure. Okay, Diagonals are always less reliable. Nevertheless, I can count it as a one two setup. We just need to make sure that we understand this was not an impulse. If this is a diagonal, then the pullback would um, need to prove itself. Yeah, or the chart needs to prove itself. We cannot blindly believe this is going to go up, but we can watch the relevant support levels, watch the relevant FIBs, and you can see how relevant these Fibonacci levels are because price did touch the 50% FIB level here and reacted. Here as well, yeah, the other 38.2 FIB level, we reacted to it here as well. It's just that the 38.2 FIB level, which is here at 1.83 cents, is typically not a reliable one for a wave two. It is one where you often see a reaction in an A wave, and that's always what I highlight. What you can often expect in a good wave two in the cryptos, the A wave reacts to the 38.2 FIB level. You see a corrective rally, ideally into the resistance zone, which is exactly what we saw here. And then basically a sell off in the C wave, which in this case was an ending diagonal, which could still get another low. I mean, without any impulse to the upside or a five wave move at least, there is no low. So I cannot confirm a low is in place, but we can very much watch these relevant support levels and look for higher. A break above the wave four high, which is here at 1.9 cents, would be a first piece of evidence that a low has been made. Until then, we need to be patient, observe the market, pay attention to the FIP levels, maybe some divergences, and wait for a breakout. Now, key bullish support is 1.52 cents. A break below that level would be rather bearish for the chart. This setup for the upside for a third wave rally is valid as long as we are holding this uh, 1.52 cent level. Now, looking at the indicators, I'm on the four hour chart now. Um, let's go to the RSI actually. So what I wanted to have a look at, oops, no, down here. So we are not yet oversold at all. Actually, it's already starting to go up a little bit. It has certainly more space for further downside if it needs to. Um, we did see, and we talked about that in one of the previous videos, this bullish divergence here before, yeah, from that low to that low, have those divergences built. And if it makes one more low, price-wise, it could create a clearer bullish divergence even. So sometimes it makes sense to add trend lines even to the RSI. So for example, it could come down, make a higher low, and then you have very, very extended divergences. They are typically a good, let's call it signal that things might turn around soon. The, the rally at the moment is just in three waves. So I would need to see more extended confirmation that the low is already in. At the moment, we still need to consider another low could happen, but it is essentially this area where if it is a wave two, the turning point should be. Okay, that's my update about VeChain. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.